All right. Baraka for Yahweh. Baraka for Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Ba'asham, Rakar Kadash. You know, pretty much uh, just decided to just go live, you know, quickly. Um, you know, pretty much um, just not, I'm going to be on, I'm not going to be on too long because I ain't got the word on me and nothing like that. You know, but, you know, pretty much, man. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, talk about a few things that's been going on, you know, in the spirit, man, to do with the the, the prophecies and, and stuff of that nature, man. You know, but, you know, you know, look, man, we're in a time now, you know, where, the, the, you know, through the decree of the apostles, bro, you know, the, the Lord's got it where, bro, this... This word is being pushed like on a serious fucking level, man. We're talking about we're talking about brothers doing videos every day. We're talking about we talk for every edifying videos as well. We're talking about you can go to different brothers in Great Millstone, and when you watch the video, bro, the the, the the level of edification coming out of these videos is through the roof. It's fucking through the roof. And the funniest part about all that is if you watch any of these other camps, do they do this? They don't do it. They don't, bro. They, <laughs> I got to laugh about it, man. Because I was just meditating on it, man. You what? You go on, you go on IUPKs, you go on IUICs, you go on any of their fucking videos, or you go on their channels, are they flooding the internet the way that Archie at Great Millstone are, fl are flooding the truth? How fucking no? You know, any time, it could be a, like a camp day, Saturday, could be a, a day in the week, you know, and you go on it and guess what you find out? That the brothers in Great Millstone are flooding the internet. That's the scriptures, man. That's the prophecies. What does the scripture say, man? The scripture says that they held their peace not day and all night. Okay, and that's what that's what the brothers at Great Millstone do. They don't hold their peace. They, we're out there pushing the word. You know, we're pushing the prophecies, we're going to history, and et cetera, et cetera, man. And that's how you know, that's how you know that, that the, the men of the great most, or the men of the Lord, like if, if we weren't the men of the Lord, then who else are going to be the men, men of the Lord, man? When you read uh, the book of Corinthians and you read about Paul, you read about the boldness that Paul had. You have to be bold, you have to be bold in his spirit. You, you know, you don't want to be proud, because proud is wicked. But you gotta be bold, declaring the word. You gotta be confident. You gotta be in the spirit, you know. Cause like that, because there's a flip side to everything. There, you got proud. You know, you got people that get the word and they just wanna, they wanna fucking, you know, make themselves look good. But that's all bullshit, man. So I said, you know, I said I just some quick thoughts, you know, live and all that, you know, ride the wave, man. Cause uh, I see, you know, brothers are doing a lot of videos, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's an absolutely beautiful thing. You know, like I said, I ain't got the word with me right now, so, you know, I'm just talking on certain things now. Um, you know, a bit of geopolitics and stuff like that. You got, at the moment, you got the UK and Russia. You know, they're at a bit of a variance at the moment. And we all know, if you really go into things, that uh, the Third World War, you know, the Third World War, man, the whole Third World War thing, you know, that we, that, that we, we talk about and we speak about, when you go into um, uh, the, the book of Revelation, and or even the, you, go, you go into the book of Jeremiah 50, you go into Ezekiel 38, you go into Jeremiah 51, World War Three is in those books. World War Three is in even the book of Joel, the third, third chapter. So everybody's getting messed up right now on the internet. And you even had this, this, this dude, Alex Jones, talk about the book of Revelation and say that it's coming true in the mark of the beast. You're damn right, because these things were, were, were prophesied by the men that are in Great Millstone, that were there in the reincarnation, that have come back now. The prophets were back there. The scripture says what? The spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, bruv. So the brothers that are, are, are up there in America and, and worldwide, the reason why we're in these lands is what? Because we're, we're, we're set up to prophesy against wicked kingdoms. That's Jeremiah 28 and 8. The reason why you have to live in the slums and you have to live is the curses. And then the Lord also sent the prophets there so the prophets can fucking, 
uh, 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 prophesy against these wicked ass kingdoms. That's why we're fucking in those lands. You know, you might, you gotta go work and, you know, <laughs> you know, you, 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 you're catching hell and all around, you might see trannies and faggots and uh, uh, women acting like men and proud and, you know, thinking that they're better than you and all that. But why is that? Why is that? So for us to prophesy against those places, man, that's Jeremiah 28 and 8 right there. We're set up to prophesy against those fucking places. You know, these places that we're talking about, America, America's Babylon, read Revelation 18. You know, the the, um, the city, the merchant city, and all the nations make money off it. How how is that not the case? Look at look at the, the mass consumerism going on in in America, and you've got a lot of fucking lads, clowns. They've woke up and said, oh, all of a sudden, uh, America is uh, the Vatican City. You fucking twats. Give me a breath. How the fuck can America that land be the fucking? Um, how can the Babylon be the Vatican City? There's no way on earth. There's nowhere on earth that small little land, that little that little plot, that little that little place, you know, where where they got the Pope there and they got and they got the because when you go into the Vatican, the you know the Vatican is like um, you know basically I think it's one of the unclean frogs. You got Washington D.C., you got London, and then you got um, uh, the Vatican, and the Vatican is an unclean frog. It's not Babylon the Great. It's an unclean frog because that's like the 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 home. Really, it's like the home of religions. Cause you got you got all them like the, the Roman Catholic Church is like the head of all these different religions, you know, that are around. You know, and pretty much, man, you got them popes up there, and we don't know them popes are a little bunch of bu bunch of pedophiles. <coughs> Excuse me, and they've got like hidden books and stuff up there, but the Vatican is not controlling the whole world. You know, if you want to go and find out the Illuminati power structure, because you got videos saying, oh, the Vatican control the world. Hell no. You know, who controls the world? It's the really, it's the, uh, the international bankers. It's the international bankers. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the Rothschilds. You know, you, you got a cult called the Black Nobility cult. You got the Black Nobilities. You got, uh, you, okay, let's go back to it. You got 1776. You got uh the, you got the the, the Freemason uh, erection, where you had uh what's this guy's name man, oh man you know you forget, you forget certain things uh what the fuck his guy's name man, uh Adam Weishaupt man, Adam Weishaupt, seventeen seventy six the Illuminati founder now what you, what you find out with the, the foundation of Illuminati is a lot of those people that set it up they were working underground first. They was working on the ground. And that's Psalm 64. That's the scripture of Psalm 64. The secret counsels of the wicked. The secret counsel of the wicked. So what you find out is that they were working on the ground to establish their power. Even with the thrones of England, the thrones of Russia and these different thrones. They infiltrated these thrones. You know, example of that. Okay, let's talk about I mean, England. Let's talk about England. With England, you had King James. In King James, he was he was fighting for control of his throne because you had his cousin William of Orange and all that that was paid off to to mess with him. You had you had so called Jews from from in Europe because you've had a lot of them so called Jews. They was in Europe, Germany. That's why the so called Queen that's sitting on the throne now. Where's she from? She's from fucking Germany. She's not even British. People say, oh, the the Queen. She's actually fucking from Germany, mate. She ain't from fucking England. Okay. But that's what they did, they infiltrated. Now, if you go into certain history, they say that Queen Elizabeth, that was right before King James, that she set up, she tried to make her own gold standard of coins because the international bankers were coming up in England like from the 14, 15, 1600s. And that's when they, they came in. So when you get to the time of King George, King George never had no power. That's why they got the documentary called The Madness of King George, because he, he was a Jake. They would can probably consider him a mulatto but he never he never had the power because the, the the international bankers from that period they crept in then you got men like uh christopher columbus that went to the new world then you get uh people like um who else uh the borgia families and they had there was what spain and you had the moors and all that so esau was spreading his tentacles all throughout the Middle Ages, when they came out the caves, 
and and Jake were the ones that brought them in. Jake so the Jake's kind of cleaned them up, but that was his prophecies. What's that uh, the scriptures and revelations where it talks about um uh they shall rule basically for a little season. And we're in that little season. Now we're in a little season where he saw out here yeah, that this is his little season, man. Where he puts in captivity and now he's got the he's got he's got the world in globally running it. He's got these fucking mobites wearing business suits. He's got mobites wearing business suits. He's got fucking what else can you say? He's got he's got he's got people all over the world wearing fucking business suits, man. How 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 crazy is that? But that's that's the way Esau runs it. You know what I mean? So that that's how Esau runs it, man. He's got people in business suits all over the planet. Okay, uh, 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 basically carbon copies of his system kissing his ass. Okay, if the scriptures stays on, I'll probably read that Revelation twenty and three for one. Uh, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shot him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more for water, man. Because I ain't got the I ain't got the scriptures on me. So that's what it was. Okay. And now he's ruling it's for his little season. Because anytime Esau comes into power, what's he gonna do? Deceive? Here it is, uh, uh, uh the scripture says in uh, uh Exodus, I think it's 76, that we're kings and priests. And and here it is. In this world, what are you? You're, you're black. You're black. You're a fucking nigger and all of this. You, you ain't got, you, you, there's nothing, you, you ain't nothing great. The only thing that you are, that Esau wants to tell you, is a fucking scumbag. A, a fucking, a, 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 a black, you know, uh, uh, these different things, man. Okay? That's all he wants to tell you that you are. A uh, 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 West Indian. Okay, there's another uh, chariot to Israel. Uh, Psalms 37 and 10. For a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt dimly consider his place, and it shall not be. And these, these Edomites, man, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to get fucking taken out. Because you know what, man? This little rulership that they've got, this is just a bad dream. Apostle Tar put a video up today about America being like what? Like some kind of a, like a, like a futuristic movie. And it's true. Like, you watch these movies and all that, and then... People are like, like, all jacked up in the movies, and 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 all that, and they're trying to get out. That's what it is. Even like the Black Mirror, you would check out that Black Mirror. The whole Black Mirror thing is about every Black Mirror episode is what it's about the RFID chip. It's the, it's about the RFID chip, man. Okay. <laughs> oh man, it's about the RFID. You if you watch that Black Mirror shit. Okay, so they want to get everybody chipped. You know. Now this dude, uh, what's his name? Uh, Aaron Russo sat down with Nick Rockefeller. Okay, and what and what and what and what happened in that meeting? He told him, look, uh, that we want to get all these the populace chipped, and he told Aaron Russo, look, why worry about it? Why why were you gonna worry about it? And you know what? I tell you another thing. Some of these, um, you got like Alex Jones, you got David Ikes, you got a lot of these people that are calling themselves truthers and that. Those lads, yeah, them, them fucking lads, you know what happens with them? Esau, some of them get promised that they're going to be good when this new world order gets set up. That's why they, 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 like they, they, they call it the counter movements, the Hegelian dialectic. That's a word, the Hegelian dialectic. They call it Hegelian dialectic. They say to them, if you do this, when it goes down, you'll be all right. But guess what? A lot of them are going to get wigged. They get, Esau's giving them them false promises, man. Esau's giving them them false promises. But that's why I like them do that. They think, yeah, when this goes down, I'm going to have a place to show you that in, um, I think it's in the movie 2012. Okay. Well, a lot of people, them them, them Judah Scopes, them double agents, they're working for the for the Rothschilds and, and, and pushing the work. And they think that when this goes down, we're going to be good. But, but a lot of them are paranoid. Alex Jones, he's a paranoid. Not he's paranoid, look at him. And his family's supposed to be into oil and all that anyway. When he was at, when uh, David Rothschild was on his show, David Rothschild brought that up. But then guess what? Alex Jones had a show, and he, what was he, What did he mention? He mentioned the royal black Hebrew Israelites, which were not black Hebrew Israelites. That's a byword. Okay, hey, you know what I mean. So a lot of But when you go into that word black, what, what that word black? Okay, let's go into that. That means void of light. How the fuck? I've never seen no one walking around the color like the space, like black, whatever you want to call it. I've never seen no one looking like that. So that's a fucking mess. That's 
That's what Esau does to control your mind and to have you not knowing that you're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Because what does the word Israel mean? That's the Hebrew word, Yasha Allah, which means he is a prince of the power. So rather than being princes of the power, they want it to be black. Which was not, what time of history do people unite under being, or oh, we're just black? <coughs> you never had that? You had the Egyptians, you had the, you had the Persians and Medes, you had, a, you had even a, a, a different Hamite nations that we're in. Okay, but as far as them coming up and saying that, okay, we're going to unite on the black, that's bullshit, man. And that's what Esau wants, that's, that's what he pushes, so you don't know who you are. But meanwhile, what does he call himself? The so-called Jews. Revelation 2 and 9, what does he say? He says, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, but are not, but, but they are the synagogue of Satan, bro. Because that's what they are, man. But they, but they, they know, okay, we call ourselves the so-called Jews. That, you know what that means? That means that we're, we're the rightful rulers of the planet. That means they're the rightful rulers, but, but they're not. Okay, and, and I was going to go into a bit of their history, but when you look, you check these Egyptologists, out. These dudes are I'm gonna read the scripture out. Truth is that it says Psalms 44 and 14, because it comes off and comes off quick. Thou make us up a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head amongst the people. There you go, man. Okay, because they talk shit about us. But really, we're the sons of the heavenly father. Now, if they were the real Jews, they would be in the state where everything because of Deuteronomy 28, the curses, that says where we're gonna be at, man. And if we was only going to get delivered when, when, when the Lord comes and delivers us, delivers us. How are you going to be the real people of the Bible, but you're ruling when Satan's ruling? You're, you're, Job 9.24, the earth is given what into the hands of the wicked. So how are, you going to be, how are you going to call yourself ruling when the wicked's in power? How does that work out, mate? So I want to know, you fucking, fucking cunts. Okay, you fucking, you, you fucking scoffers out there. And I'm telling you, you know, you, you fucking scoffers, you're fucking info one, mate. You don't even know. Okay, you scoffers out there, you don't even fucking know what you're in for. Because you, you know what, man? The, the Lord's got the brothers on fire out, out, out in Babylon and across the world. And this ain't stopping. This, ain't, this, is, this, is, this is where it starts. The next side, Jeremiah 16. The, ne the ne next time where it starts is that, that hunting. Now this is the fishing. You know? And, and the next stage of this is the fucking hunting. We just, when we get the spiritual powers, we get raised up. It's done for these elites, man. It's done for these Edomites out here. It's all done for you. It's on top now. Here it is, we're living in a world where you try and walk up the road and you try and talk to a bird. You don't know if the fucking, if it's a transgender or not. Because, oh yeah, that's going on all over the planet. They're pushing it heavy. Okay. Especially if you, you, you know, I know it's over there in Babylon already. America, and you you go lock down London now, you know that like, you try and fucking talk to you don't even know if you, it's been happening. Your brothers, you you trying to hit up a bird, you trying hey what's popping ma and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey what's good? Okay, let me let me read this next scripture, man. Um, Psalms forty seven and three. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. That's right, up man. For what, man? For what if you brothers put put. Putting the 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 the, 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 the scriptures on the comment board, buff, because I ain't like I said I ain't got the word on me right now, so I'm just running I'm just running raw, <laughs> you know I'm just running raw at the moment, you know, you know because I, I got this moment man, you know and I said let me just throw something up, but yeah but you you try and talk to her you go you try and turn yourself talking to a bird out there you don't know she. You know, the, the jawline might be a bit hard, <laughs> you know, the walk might be a bit, but you see a lot of them, you know, the, you might you might look at the jaw, you're like, wait there, man, saying it right there. And you, and before you even, it's your spirit, you, you get your heart starts beating, you, you look and you're like, nah, that's off. Like you had that rap bitch over there back in the day, Sydney Star, and Chingy was supposed to have popped that fucking bitch and all that. And then you had this geezer, Bob and Valentino got caught with a tranny running out. You got some freaks out in this world. And but this is the place, this is the place of enlightenment. This is the place where you, we're supposed to stay. No, fuck that. Because let's talk, let's go into these Edomites as well. Okay, okay, I'm from England, bro. You know what I mean? We're from England, merry old England. Well, what's going on over in England? Listen, a lot of these fucking every day of the fucking news, you've always got some so-called politicians and all that coming out. 
for being pedophiles and bot blasting little kids. Edward Heath, Ted Heath, Rolf Harris, they're all coming out, it's all coming out. Every day in the news, you can't even you can't even say that they ain't happening. I'm gonna read that GMS New Dawn, Job 1022. A land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, where light is as darkness. Okay. To the scriptures the cup let me see if I can get them back up. Oh yeah, I can get it. Yeah, okay, I know how to get it back up. Uh for what uh the la so right, yeah, we're in the la the land of darkness without any order. And where the light is as darkness. Okay, let me get this scripture up, man. Uh, chariots is right there. Psalms 12 and 8. And for why for these scriptures, bro, you know, because I'm just doing my little live stream. You know, anyone that comes in, man, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it a lot, bro. Uh, Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Yeah. <laughs> and the, who's at the top? The men that are fucking freaks. They got a big thing. Hey, even okay. Let's talk about America. In LA, they've got wild sex parties. The biggest, one of the biggest places for sex parties in LA is called what Sanctum, and that's actually one of the public ones. Because when that whole thing happened with the Eyes Wide Shot movie, this lad, um, uh, Ridley, was it Ridley Scott? No, it was um, no, it weren't Ridley Scott. He made um, Alien. It was uh, what's this other guy's name, man? Uh, uh, I forgot his name, man. If it comes back to me, I'll let you know. But anyway, the guys that made the, the lad that made that movie, which his daughter come out as a truther, which she disappeared for me. But he got he got wicked for that. Now you've got you got another you got six parties out there in LA, and you got one called Sanctum, and basically you have to be an invite or you have to pay a certain amount of money, how many grands, you know how many thousands of pounds to get in and then basically you go up masked up and these people are all popping each other and there's movie directors there and that's one of the public ones it's called Sanctum LA just google it it will come up matter of fact Lord willing I'll probably do a video on that because you got that going on man you got you got that going on yeah so these the vile these vile men that's what they get up to bro they get they get together they have these freak orgies men are popping men women are popping women they do sent human centipedes. They run trains. All in a room with masks on. That's fucking vile, bro. And now, every day in the, the UK news now, and this the channel called this morning, they've got a thing coming on there where they've got the fucking... Um, they're always they're, they're trying to promote transgenders, man. Or even white women are getting mad. Even white women are saying, wait there, you, you, what, you fucking trannies have got more rights than us. Because what's happening is there was an incident where Say there was about 14 year olds. There was like a there was like a group of fucking 14 year olds at camping trip in England. And there was like a 14 year old tranny. So the tranny identifies itself as a woman. So the, the white women were fucking concerned that this tranny 14 can pop the fu It's got titties and hair, but it's got a cock. So that tranny can pop the fucking... <laughs> it can pop the little fucking... Uh, uh, little fucking Edomite girls and that man. So them Edomite women, they were getting upset about that. <laughs> but that's how fucking whacked out this realm's gone, bruv, you know? That's how whacked out this realm's gone, man. What's that, Isaiah 24? Um, Basically, the earth is out of, uh, 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 under the ha inhabitants are rough. The earth is out of course, man. The air's messed up. The, 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 there was a video today, and I know... um. Yasha Wamba did something on it and it was he was on a feed. He was on the news and stuff like that. That there was a whole bunch of sharks that just fucking just fucking, you know, just came up and just fucking were dead. Now, even the bees now in England, all over the world they're saying there's not there's, in certain parts there's the bees. There's not even there's not even bees. The bees are dropping dead. How do you get honey? There's certain things the the ecosystem of the earth has, things have to be alive for it to work in accordance. Okay, let me read some. Let me read the scriptures that you got. Uh, Psalms twelve and eight. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Isaiah twenty four and five. The earth also is defiled. Okay, under the inhabitants are off because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken their everlasting covenant. 
And that's exactly what they've done. When you go into the scriptures, there's something called a land Sabbath. There's a year of Jubilees. Now the land Sabbath is seven years, six years of till tilling the ground. And the seventh year, what do you do on the seventh year? On the seventh year, you let the land breathe. But does Esau want to do that? Hell no, Esau don't want to do that. Because he doesn't give a fuck. All the major corporations. What, what about the oil spills? All over the world. They got different they got places all over the world where there's major oil spills. Where all you got is fucking him dumping up fucking oil or whatever in the ocean and stuff like that. You know, he's about mass profit. He's about mass profit and and, 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 and just doing whatever he wants with and, and getting the, the 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 most the most benefit from it. That's Hab that's the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter. You go into Habakkuk, the second chapter, it talks about he spread Hab Habakkuk 2 and 4. It said he, he, he says death and he and he, he spreads his habitation as how? How does a man spread his habitation as how? He spreads his habitation as how because he's fucking going around the world destroying things, man. Okay? That's what he's doing. That's what this man's doing. That's why he's going to get fucking done. And, and you know what? You know what? It's just a beautiful thing, bro, that we're in the time now that this man's going to get fucking done. It's an absolutely fab... It's a superb... It's absolutely fabulous. Like, they had that show. <laughs> they had a show back in the day. It was called Absolutely Fabulous with these two white women and all that. But it's absolutely fucking fabulous. That this man's going to get fucking dead, mate. Okay? It's a fucking good thing. And, 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 and let me say this, man. Because I was going into the, uh, the Illuminati and that. But they've got something called order out of chaos. So their ultimate plan, Job 5, it says that the, their hands will not be able to pre um, uh, uh, perform their enterprise. But their plan is to create order out of chaos. So they create all the, the, the fucking mess on the earth. Then at the end, they get to say, okay, after World War Three, we've got a solution. You know, everyone's chipped and basically, except Satanism, and um, a one world fucking currency, one world government, one world order, one world religion, all that. So they're really trying to mirror what the Lord's going to set up in the kingdom. So, But but we know that's not going to happen. Revelation 19, Revelation 2, 25, all them scriptures come into mind that we know that he's not going to get what he wants to get. He is absolutely not going to get what the fuck he wants. Okay, he's not going to get this, man. He saw you fucking done. It's done, mate. That's why you're getting mad. That's why you're coming on. That's why you fucking trolls. Okay, you come on our videos, mate, and, you, and, you, and you're talking shit. You know why you're doing that? Because you, because you hurt. You hurt, bro. You hurt that, that, that the Lord can raise. That's in 1 Corinthians 3. The wisdom, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. To the Heavenly Father, man. You know, you're just so angry that... The, these men on these men that, that are supposed to be on the streets can come up and and, and, and come with so much information and, and come out with the, the, the truth, man. What what scripture is that? That's uh, Amos three and seven. What did it say in Amos three and seven? It says, "Surely the Lord will do nothing, but reveal of His secrets unto His servants, the prophets, prophets, bro." Yeah, that's what it says. So they're fucking mad at the fact that that we're cursing them out. They don't want to hear that, and he's so such a devil. Don't matter what you tell him. Nah, you don't want to hear it. He's like a, like a fucking kid. Now, nah. You know what I mean? And when you see them little Edomite kids, man, they're like that, man. If you see them, they're all they're bogged out. You know, they're all messed up, man. All, all demonic. They're demonic, demonically filled. You know, they're all, they're all, you know what I mean? They're, they're off. That's the spirit of Edom. The soul of Esau. Satan's been spawned on the earth. Anytime you see a little Edomite child, Satan has been spawned on the earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh man, you know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what it is, man. That's what it is, man. Okay. So that's what it is. So hey, but what's the what's that? The description Psalms that talks about what the seed of the wicked? Because anytime he has his children, that line, they take they're devils. You could get up with a any type of ethnic woman, Japhet, Elam, could come out with a bit of melanin. Hey, but that's guess what? You know what that child is? That child's a fucking that's that's a that's an Edomite devil, mate. And for all you fucking cunts that want to go talk about the Edomites don't exist anymore, mate, you are fucking retarded. Absolutely retarded, mate. Okay? You're absolutely fucking retarded. Okay? 
<clears throat> That's right. Just checking, just checking a few things in here. That's right, man. So this place is done, man. This place is done, and, and basically, we're come, what, what time are we in now? The time of World War Three now. You know, we're in the time of World War Three where that's public knowledge, it's public news, but these sheeples still want to just act like none of this is going on. But they can do that all they want, mate, because you know what's going to happen? They're going to get caught up in it, man. You know, one of my favourite movies I like is called When the Wind Blows, because that geezer was, it was like, I think, World War One, World War Two. Because you remember the Germans were the threat back in the day. Which which Hitler, when you go into Hitler, his fucking family was um the uh the illegit he was the Ill illegitimate son of the Rothschilds. So he was set up. And basically when he died, well, you know, yeah, when he died and all that, whatever. Okay, this one get rid of that, man. Okay, my battery's getting low. <clears throat> Give me a sec. My battery's getting a bit low, so I'll probably close it out in a second. But yeah, uh, I need my fucking charge all the way over there. Yeah, so uh, pretty much, I mean, I'm, I mean, I've done half an hour in here. I'll close it out in a minute, man. You know, but um, yeah, but one second, let me make sure that. Oh, that's cool. Right, so anyway, yeah, so like I was saying, man, when that, that thing that happened with Hitler and all that, he was, they, they set it up so they could go into the land of Israel, man. So there's a lot to this truth. Esau is the father of lies, man. What does it say, John 10 and 10? He comes to kill and to destroy and to rob. There's nothing else that he does other than that. He just wants to go around taking people's things, making up lies and acting like he fucking actually fucking, you know, come up with things himself. But anyway, I'm going to end on this note, man. We're in 2018 now. And... We're in a time where this money system is going to crash. This money, this money system is going to crash. You know, you got this this whole thing with Russia and all that. This is breaking down alliances. Russia, UK, America. Russia's there, like, on that side. And that's like, that brings it, uh, the whole Soviet, the Bolshevik Revolution, which it was the so-called Jews that fought against him because it was all so-called Jews that really set that up, you know, because the Russia's always been kind of like a, like doing their own thing. Always been a problem for the the NATO, you know that you know that part of that side of the world. So pretty much, um, you know, we're looking at the cash this, and when you look at it, man, you can see that we're, we're geared towards. I believe that this year probably is gonna the mark of the beast will come out, man. If it don't, it don't. But I believe that, man. Look at the way things are going on. You know, they really want to get that in. So you never you never know, man. You never know. But this is this shit is moving fast. You know, this whole Russia, UK, America variances, you know, is indicative of something like that going on. You know, and we all know that the mark of the beast has to come out before World War Three. And like I mentioned, that Black Mirror, that was just conditioning for the people. They want the people to be conditioned to be able to accept that. And there's nothing better to easy to get people to accept the mark of the beast through the famines. That's what they gotta do. Just gotta starve people out, starve people out and they'll have you. That's all I gotta do to starve people out of lavy. You know, people are gonna run for it. Like, look how can look how bogged out people are. The music they listen to is bogged out. You know, people are eating GMO food. People are ready to take the fucking mark of the beast anyway. So the masses of the people, they're gonna fucking be accepting that any fucking way anyway. You know. So you know, you check out that cashless stuff, and now in the churches they're saying that the, you can pay the offering. Now the sixteen thousand churches across England. They're paying offerings now. And that's the Church of England said that. So the church, you know what? The Church of England is a head church over the whole, every church in, in England. They said that. Now they're doing um, um, cashless donations. They don't even do offerings now with cash. And then they also said that schools, every school in Britain cannot say anything bad against transgenders. Are you getting kicked out? They kicked out a faggot. He was a homo, he was, he was a homosexual. And he said certain, he thought that, he didn't even say nothing bad. He just thought the girl he he called her. It was a class full of girls. He called her a boy, and he got fucking sacked, and he was a faggot himself. So we're seeing now, things have changed, man. Right before you knows. You got rappers now with blonde and purple and pink dreads, 
all their dreads like like the fucking rainbow. And and the freaks. And I got you know rappers is a good fucking example because Jake loves rap. Jake don't, Jake ain't really into seventies eighties music singing and the fifties sixties. Jake just loves fucking rapping. So that's a good example to use. You rappers now, mate. It's a bunch of fucking skittle boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that dude, man. He's got that Puerto Rican with all the fucking... He's got all the fucking... His hair's like the skittles and all that. You know? His hair's like the skittles, man. He's just fucking crazy. But that's the point we're at, man. That's the point we're at. You know? So anyway, man, I'm, gonna, I'm probably pretty much going to probably wrap it up. You know, my battery's getting low. Uh, you know, I went live for a bit. You know, for either for the brothers that come in, for either for the precepts and stuff like that. You know, Lord willing, we're going to do some more stuff. Probably go in a few more topics and stuff like that. This really was an open forum, so I just tried, I tried to just, you know, go through a lot of topics quickly. But, you know, Lord willing, man, we're going to keep exposing the uh, Illuminati and that, man, and exposing Esau's system. Because we've got, we, our kingdom's coming next year. And in our kingdom, it's going to be an enlightened kingdom. The streets are going to be paved with gold. It tells you that in Revelations. The streets are going to be paved with fucking gold. They're, we're never going to get bored and we're going to live forever. How, how, am I, like that's in, that's, Scripture says, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what the Lord have prepared for the men that basically do his work. That, so what, if you know that you've got that to look forward to, what the fuck is this shit? Kissing women's ass, running around, using fake money. It's all bullshit, bro. It's all fucking bullshit, man. This place is going to be done away with. Okay? So that's pretty much what it is, man. So anyway, Aki, I'm, um, I'm going to pretty much close out. Um, you know, catch you brothers on the next round. You know, and, uh, you know, just keep keep pushing, keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning and, um, you know, we'll, we'll be out of here soon anyway. We certainly will. We'll be right out of here. And, you know, when we're out of here, man, that's when we get to drink that wine and we really get to rejoice. Because this fucking shit, bro, is just fucking, it's a mess. That's why you got to pretty much drink. You got to you gotta drink your yarn. Like, it's no one's... I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I fucking get down on that yarn, bro, every fucking day. You know? <clears throat> and the reason why I do that you know, everyone's got their thing that they might do. But the main thing is doing videos, but you know, you you know, you gotta get you know, you gotta it's balance man. You, you know, you do the videos and and after, you know, I'm pretty much gonna heat up some of your yarn in a minute, you know what I mean? I mean I've been hitting some of your yarn anyway. But I'm gonna hit some up in a fucking minute, man. You know. So anyway, with that bro, I'm gonna say shalom and you know, all you brothers out there, stay up, keep pushing. And then um, I'm gonna say this as well, for the brothers out here in England and all that, you know, just um that that fucking geezer that comes to the camp that went up to the, the Buckingham Palace and all that, the, you gotta be careful of that. Dude. And if you ever see him around, just tell him to do one, man. I gotta say that because some dude come on the comment board saying, Oh, you y'all are with him and all this. We ain't with that geezer, man. You you fucking head. We ain't with that key. We don't that he's got nothing to do with us. You fucking degenerates. Okay? So I just had to put that out of there quickly because you got these, you know, you got demons, you got agents, you got Satan and what, you know, they're trying to fucking, you know, you know, you know. But they're going to get destroyed anyway, man. We, we're we coming up anyway. They're going to get fucking flattened. They're getting leveled. Their numbers are getting fucking, they're going to get fucking leveled out there, bro. You got nukes, you got famines, all the above, man. Okay, uh, one more scripture before I go. I'm going to quote it. It says, uh, it says, The Lord shall begin to visit the world which he made. And then Daniel's 12 says it's going to be a time like there was never before. So when you talk about judgment, you talk about you talk about what the Lord's getting ready to bring, bro. <laughs> bro, we're talking about the Heavenly Father. We're not talking about what a man can do. You know, you might punch you a bit, slam your head on the ground. We're talking about that. Yahweh Bar Shum, Yahweh Shai Bar Shum, Rakaka Dash. What Yahweh Bar Shum, Yahweh Shai Bar Shum, Rakaka Dash is getting ready to do. You ain't even ready for that. Okay? 
that's a, that's on a totally different level. All right. So anyway, man, I'm gonna say shalom to you, brothers, man. And stay up for what for watching. Shalom.